Hi everybody, this is Amanda back from Amanda Rose Tarot and we're here today to do another pick a card reading. This reading was suggested by one of my subscribers. Um, their username is Facts Uncensored and they wanted to know, is my crush my future partner? So I've drawn a few cards to use for each pile. Um, we've got one card from the Romance Angel Oracle. We've got a couple cards from the Gilded Deck and then a couple cards from the Gypsy Witch Fortune Telling playing cards. So I also have the Yes No coin flip. I will do that at the end of each reading if you would like to participate. If not, then just click off before that point. Um, you can ask the same question or you can ask a different question. Uh, some of you might want to ask the same question, is my crush my future partner because some of these uh they may be you know on the fence so um I'm just going to be quiet let you guys pick your icons the first reading is going to be the glittery heart the second reading is going to be the cute little butterfly and the third reading is going to be this beautiful unicorn so pick your pile please Okay, so if you chose the first reading, the Glittery Heart, let's look at your cards. I haven't looked at these cards yet either. And let's see, is your crush, crush going to be your future partner? Okay, the first card that you got is the Fish, and this is also the Four of Cups. The second card that you got is the Star, and this is also the Two of Swords. The next card that you got is the Eight of Cups. The next card that you got is the Four of Swords. And the final card that you got is Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Okay, so your crush that you're asking about. I think that there has been some sort of separation between you and this person. We've got the Eight of Cups right here in the middle. So I think that this person has withdrawn from you. Um, it may seem as if this person is moving on from you. I feel like there's probably no communication right now. You've also got the Four of Swords and this talks about retreat, rest, recovery, solitude. So I really don't see any interaction between you guys except for the flirt card. So maybe when you guys were in contact, there was lots of flirting, there was lots of touching, there was lots of kissing, there was lots of intimacy. Um, it doesn't have to be sex, but uh, for some of you it's going to be, and then others it's just going to be, you know, kissing, flirting. Um, with the star card here, I think that, um, you know, there's... A potential here for success with this person but this star card is also the two of swords and two of swords is about um, it's about balance it's about needing to compromise it's kind of being at a deadlock like you guys are equal in your power so whether it's for good or bad you know you guys are equal so there's going to need to be some sort of compromise between you and this person there must also be some sort of balance between you guys um and that could be why there's the separation between you guys that could be why you feel like this person is moving on you also have the fish card which is the Four of Cups. And the Four of Cups is about uh, feeling unfulfilled in your love life, feeling kind of bored in your love life. So I think that um, with the fish card here, it's like just keep swimming, just keep swimming. Um, you're hoping that you can get through this, that you have the confidence to get through this that um, you can keep fighting for this connection. Maybe you feel as if, you know, there's no point in fighting for this connection. Um, but I think that there's definitely, with the star card here, there is potential for 
success. I think this person does see you as, um, you know, a shining light. This person also, uh, with the flirt card, definitely there's an attraction between you guys. And I think the angels are really suggesting that if you guys can bring back that lighthearted energy into this connection, um, that you guys can revive that passion. So I think that you guys do have a friendship. Um, I think that you guys, when you are together, I think that you guys both um, want each other. You guys are both very attracted to each other. I think that um, there needs to be more smiling, you know, there needs to be more lightheartedness. So maybe it just felt like in this connection, it wasn't fun anymore. You know, there wasn't that happiness. There wasn't that celebrating. Um, so it could be that, you know, um, you know, maybe there's going to be someone else coming in for you. There could be a potential for someone new to come in. And this person, they could be introduced through a friend or a mutual acquaintance. And you'll meet someone new. And then you'll have you know, enjoyment in their company. And that will help you to get over this, um, this separation or this withdrawal or this moving on from this person. So it could go both ways. Take whatever way resonates with you. Some of you are looking for something new, um, something more lighthearted. And others of you are trying to get back to that place where you actually enjoyed being with this person. So these are quick little readings. If you, if you do want something more, then definitely check out my Etsy down below. But we are going to do your yes, no coin flip. So if you do need to pause it, go ahead and pause it. Meditate on what you want to ask. Or if you want to ask the same question, then you can do that as well. So um, I'm going to do that right now. Okay, so you got no, so whatever you ask, the answer is no. Things can always change, but for right now, the answer is no. So thank you so much, number one, for coming, for watching my readings. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you get notified next time I do a reading like this. Okay, so number two, if you pick this cute little butterfly, let's see, is your crush going to be your future partner? Okay, you've got, this is the Two of Cups, and this is also the Gentleman. So either you're the Gentleman, or you're asking about a Gentleman. You've got the Whip, and this is also the Ten of Swords. You've got the Justice card. You've got the Eight of Swords. And you've got attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Okay, so if you pick number two, the person that you're asking about, definitely you're attracted to them. Whether they're a female or a male, definitely there's some sort of attraction there. So that's probably why you're asking about this person is because you still feel that attraction for that person. Probably it's something about their features. Um, it could be the way they dress, the way they have their hair. Something about that person really attracts you to them. We've also got the Two of Cups. So um, I feel like there was love. There was a partnership. There was a bond with this person. Um, so it wasn't just attraction. There was also love there. Um but you mostly enjoyed seeing this person. Um, you know, maybe it was the way this person looked at you. I feel like definitely, um, you know, you were attracted to this person. Um, it could it could be more than just their looks. It could just be their their nature, the way they act. Um, 
you know, they could be the way they smell. Something about this person just really attracts you. So I feel like that's why there's this crush with this person. But I think there's also a lot of stress in this connection because you've got the, the whip card and this is also the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords is like stress, it's about exhaustion, it's about too much responsibility. And then the whip is about arguments, um, you know, abuse, violence. So I feel like there, there's there been a lot that's happened between you and this person, fighting, arguments, it's very stressful. Um, with the Justice card here, I think that uh, you're hoping that this will be a win, that you guys will come up with some solution, things will be fair, and that you guys will work everything out. But with the Justice card here, the woman is blindfolded. Also, in the Eight of Swords, the woman is blindfolded. So I think right now, you, your intuition isn't really giving you the answers. Um, you feel all these obstacles. You're not sure how to fix this situation. So I feel like you um, need to get back in touch with your intuition. Um, there's potential here. There's definitely potential here, but I think uh, you're too much in your head about this connection. You're thinking too much about this connection. So it could be just self-made obstacles. Maybe there's really no obstacles between you and this person. It's just your thoughts that are causing the problems here. So there's a potential for this to be the end of that cycle um, and to start something new, to start back at square one you know where you guys had that love you had that bond there was happiness there was attraction there was chemistry um so definitely i feel like there's potential but it's like get out of these self-made obstacles get out of your head um get that clarity that you're you need get back in touch with your intuition and don't fight with this person you know, or maybe it's this person that's fighting with you, you know, so maybe you don't know what to say because it seems like every time you say something, you know, they want to fight with you. So you don't really know the solution as to how to get back with them. Maybe it feels like it's just not fair. They're just not acting fairly. They just want to fight. So it's like maybe you pulled away from this person because you don't really know what to do, you know so that's what i'm getting here so it's i mean it it does have potential you've got the two of cups and you have the attraction card so there's potential um let's do the yes no coin flip if you would like to participate i'm gonna do that right now okay so i can't i don't know if you guys saw that but this was a no so um, it could be just a no for right now. Uh, energies do change, but the answer is no. If you would like a personal reading, um, check out my link below to my Etsy. Uh, I can do a reading like this or, you know, anything that you would want. Okay, and last but not least, if you pick this beautiful unicorn, let's see. Is your crush going to be your future partner? Okay, you've got the railroad, and this is also the two of wands. You've got the clouds, and this is also the seven of swords. You've got the star card. You've got the four of cups. And you've got separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Okay. So I do feel like there is a separation between you and this person. Um, I feel like that something has happened between you guys. Um, I feel like this person, you feel like they have betrayed you, been dishonest to you have lied to you 
Um, it could be a divorce or just, you know, a separation. We have the separation card here. Um, but with the Four of Cups, you're definitely still thinking about this person. I think you're reminiscing about the times that you spent with this person. Um, I think you still do hope that there will be some sort of renewal between you and this person. So maybe you're just praying for some miracle to happen so that, you know, your path leads back to this person. So it, it's, it could be that you guys live, um, far apart, or it could just be that you feel, um, there's obstacles, uh, that you would have to plan to see this person travel to see this person or there's choices that you need to make um you know whether you want to go back with this person or not because maybe that betrayal that dishonesty those lies are something that you just maybe you've lost trust for this person so i do feel a sad energy if you pick this third reading um Definitely, you're having trouble with this connection. Um, the angels are just telling you that maybe you need to fill your hours with healthy activities. You know, um, this is a temporary period where you're going to be alone. And focusing on, you know, this separation is really, it's not going to help you. It's just going to make you feel more sad. So the angels want you to focus on something else um, while you and this person are maybe separated. So there could be, definitely there could be distance. Distance could be a factor in this relationship or it could be a divorce or separation. Um, you can ask the angels for guidance during this time, um, help you to heal um, your emotions related to this connection. Um, for some of you, I feel like if you, if you hope, if you pray, uh, there will be a miracle and you will be able to get back with this person. But I think that you're going to have to learn how to trust this person and there's going to have to be changes. So I think, um, you know, there could be a rebirth here between you and this person. We've got the star card. So definitely you're hoping for that. You're trying to keep your faith. But um, I feel like you're really sad about this connection. Your love life is just not going the way that you expected it to as far as this connection. And if it's just distance, then I feel like um, definitely, you know there's a potential to, um, for this person to be your future partner. If it's just distance that's keeping you apart, then you guys will figure out how to plan to be together. If it's involving travel or whatever it is, I feel like you guys could, you know, trust each other, learn to trust each other, even though you guys are apart. Um, so definitely there's a potential if you pick number three, um, but it's just like focusing on other things to keep your mind occupied. So whether it's, you know, reading a book or um, anything, you know, going for a walk outside, just not laying down and focusing on your sadness. Because I feel like maybe you and this person are both doing that. You and this person are both kind of, you know, um, really thinking about this a lot. Um, so just keep the faith. I, I feel like, um, just keep praying and I feel like there's potential, but you guys both are trying to heal emotionally, um, and try to make the right choices to make this work. So let's do the yes, no for you. If you pick number three, if you would like to participate, if not, then just click off. But uh, if you need more time to think of your question, just pause it right now.
Okay, so if you pick number three, you got a no. So I'm not sure what you asked. Maybe you wanted this to be a no. If not, then uh, just maybe next time uh, it will be a yes. But it's no for right now. So thank you guys so much for coming. Thank you for your likes, your comments, your shares, your subscribes. I appreciate you guys so much. And uh, if you would like to order a personal reading, um, just click on my link below to my Etsy and you can order a reading through there. So thank you so much. Sending you love, light, and blessings, and I will talk to you again very soon. Bye-bye.